Neil, great to see you again in the flesh. Uh, you're looking relaxed. How is the conference going so far for you? It's an exciting conference. It's always good to be here. So you are at that position that you will be able to potentially build and construct and be uh, in the down cycle and be ready for the next up cycle. I would agree with that. So if you're, you're looking at the project, and I've always said this, it's a really straightforward project. Um, and that feeds through into costs. So both in terms of the, the capex and the opex. So you have a very straightforward project, which then means that if you have a straightforward project, you have these low costs, you can actually survive any downward end of the cycle if you're a bottom cost quartile company, which we certainly are. We also have the advantage actually of not being in production today, which actually is quite a good thing. Um, but you know, with, a, with a timeline to production of, of two years and looking out there at potential new supplies, so there has been a fair amount of new supply this year, uh, but as you're looking out to 2026 and with the demand for lithium going, growing at double digits every year, um, very well placed, I think, for the future. And the other side to it is, you know, we've been a very well funded company and you know, we've had big supporters, big shells, people can see the value of the project. One of the things that we've been working very intensely on recently is completing the, the offtake process. Um, and we're very pleased how that's going. So uh, watch the space, the news will be out on that in the, in the next few weeks, I hope. So um, I think that's, uh, that's very positive in itself. And in terms of the permitting, we're coming to the end of the, the permitting cycle so we can break ground on the project. Um, so we hope to complete that in the next month or two. So looking very good, I think. Just uh, as a refresher, what is the sort of number outstanding that Atlantic needs to provide for its share of the CapEx, give or take? So it's around, let's say, the 40 million mark. Um, and if you look at it, so obviously we, we have very important verses in terms of the Sovereign Wealth Fund. Uh, they're coming in in parallel to completing the parliamentary ratification a couple of weeks behind in that because the parliamentary schedule is a bit backed up in Ghana, but fully expect that to happen next month. Uh, so we'll complete that investment, which is around $28 million initially, and then about $11 million of ongoing financing. Um, we obviously have a very significant agreement with Piedmont to provide funding. Um, and finally, the last piece is the offtake funding, which we, we referred to a moment ago. And we went out there to look for 75 to 100 million of prepayment financing with plus some equity. So we don't intend to ever draw down fully on that, but it's, it's good to have that capacity as you go forward into the, into the construction phase. Yeah, that's a great point. It is something, you know, working capital requirements and so on, they always pop up, don't they? They do indeed. And uh, you, know, you need flexibility. I mean, I. I'm very impressed with the way those discussions on offtake have gone. And while I know people are a lot of concern about the lithium price in the market, um, if you look at a couple of years, which the, the companies we're talking to are, the chemical converters who actually need product to feed into their processes, it, you can see that they are very busy securing that supply because they need to have that supply. You don't want to have a chemical plant and not be able to run it every day. And you made an important point uh, slightly earlier in the chat is Given your likely OPEX costs, you can survive pretty much anything that comes our way. So, I mean, if you're looking out there at the, the universe of companies today, um, yes, absolutely. I mean, if you look at, look at the costs that we have, um, an awful lot of other lithium companies will be closing their doors before we'll ever have to close ours. So uh, the idea then is, um, oh, one of the things I wanted to ask, I know it's not a priority, but you know, you listed on the exchange in Ghana now, how's that going? Oh, we did, so um, this is actually our third listing. This was a, a very important part of what we're doing locally as part of the content for Ghana. It was a requirement on us on the, the mining lease that was issued at the end of November last year. Um, so uh, the Ghana government is very keen to see the development of that market. Uh, we were met very enthusiastically by, by Ghanaian investors. Trading is, is, is quite slight at this point in time. We have had some trading activity in the stock, but I think the real opportunity there is as we go to production because there are a lot of pension funds who can't invest in pre-production stories, but can actually invest into production stories. So I do expect that to grow over time. So there are, there are a lot of pension funds in Ghana actually who are focused on the sector and, and looking for new opportunities to invest. So they were very excited to see what we were doing with a lithium company, which is new for Ghana. That's true, because traditionally it's been more gold, I think, or? Overwhelmingly it's gold. I mean, it, it, you know, obviously over a hundred years of gold mining in Ghana, and, and we've benefited from that in terms of 
you know, the company has great infrastructure for mining, uh, port facilities, but also in terms of human capital, the experienced um, and educated staff that we have available to us in country means we don't actually have to bring expats in, which is actually a big advantage to us. But yes, I mean, it's a, for Ghana, it's a very important thing that we listed, we understood that, um, and we look to have that as a growing market as we move towards production. Okay, great. And uh, just as a last thing, what is it uh, you're hoping to take away from the conference? Uh, today, I think it, these events are always about networking and you're out there talking to us. Obviously, we, you know, I think substantially we've got to the point where we'll be able to conclude our offtake arrangements, but we also have more product that's available. So it's always good to speak to people who are in the business of acquiring more offtake. So those are ultimately our customers and ultimately our partners as well in the future. So it's, it's always good to be out there and meeting your partners. We're here also with Piedmont as well. People are here, it's nice to be sit down and talk about the project and how we're progressing. So it's, uh, it's mainly about the, the people contacts more than anything else here. And maybe one last one is, uh, you've mentioned that the offtake news will be out in the next while. Is there anything else? Yes, it's you know? actually... Uh, it's um, the, the thing with news flow, it's kind of, uh, you, you go through a desert of no news flow at all. I, we were hoping by the end of this month that the parliamentary ratification of the mining lease that was done last year would, would, would happen this month. But unfortunately, the, the Ghana uh, uh, parliament's been rather backed up recently. So do expect it to happen that in the month of July. We've also advanced on the EPA. So our last uh, public consultation is this week. Uh, and so we're looking to complete the EPA as well in the next two months, so that'll happen. Obviously, as I mentioned earlier, the, the second tier uh, investment by the Sovereign Wealth Fund, so that's 28 billion, that should happen in parallel with what we're, with the ratification by Parliament. Um, completion of the offtake process. We should also have a small increment in terms of the, um, the mineral resource, so we continually add to that um, as the months go by, so we should also be getting that out in the next few months as well. So. Um, yes, as I say, after a couple of months of being quite quiet on news flow, July is probably going to be our busiest month, busiest month in years. And looking, you know, we're looking at breaking ground on the project later this year. So there's an awful lot happening now. That's great. Look forward to catching up with you when those come out. I look forward to that too. Great.